you want to perk up your face but you're not ready for major surgery, this was the case for Lucinda. She was worried that her face was looking a little saggy, so she went to see Dr. Barson. See it here today on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps a giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today on the show we're going to be talking about a non-surgical facelift. More specifically, we're going to be talking about ultra laser lifts which combine a couple of different advanced technologies in order to achieve a full facelift without needing surgery. But before we meet Lucinda, let's talk to Dr. Barson about what exactly an ultra laser lift is. Hey Dr. Barson, hey. what does the ultra laser lift do exactly? Well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways of lifting skin and a lot of it's surgical, but uh, some people are not comfortable with that. And so what we have is we offer them an alternative. How do people feel about having a non-surgical facelift? What's their thoughts? Well, there's a lot of people that are afraid of general anesthesia mm. um, as a person's face. Yep. And especially if it's a woman and her face. Um, it's what you present to the public, so it's very important. Well, and I know you're saying women, and it's interesting you say that because there's a lot of men out there that would be able to have this procedure as well, isn't there? That's true. How does it work exactly? Well, it's a, it's a two phase. Yes. We do a deep treatment, and this is the ultra part. Yes. The ultra part stands for ultrasound. Okay. It's a device that focuses two ultrasound beams and where they intersect under your skin, it gets hot and creates a heat spot. Yes. And that shrinks the skin. It shrinks the collagen. And then we follow that with a surface treatment with a uh, carbon dioxide laser. Yes. That also shrinks the very surface of the skin, removes imperfections, uh, helps with pores, fine lines, wrinkles, pigment. It's a procedure called all therapy. What is that? Well, all therapy is a trade name for a company that made a machine. Okay. And this is a machine that takes that focused ultrasound. Yes. They create heat dots under the skin, and those heat dots cause the skin to shrink. And that's the whole idea is to make your skin smaller so it becomes tighter. Okay. One-off procedure? Generally, yes. But, but it does not last as long as a surgical lift. Okay. Maybe Talk four, to me about that. Maybe four to five years, something like that. Okay. So if, if you're really keen... You have it done the first time, you come back four or five years later. Can you have it done in between that time? Of course. What happens if you, can you have too much? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay, why? Because the skin can tolerate a great deal of, of uh, change that way in healing. Of course, you have to have some healing time in between, but other than that, it should be fine. Do you mean downtime? No, Does no, there is no downtime. Okay. So uh, what do you mean the, by healing uh, that? To the external world, it's, you look just the same as you, you always just had look. a facial. That's right. Okay. Um, and it takes about six months for the collagen in your skin to fully undergo its changes and give you the maximum effect. And some people, we actually see most of the effect at the end of the six months. Okay. So when you say collagen, how important is that to be stimulated again for the skin? Well, that's the primary cause of aging in the skin. Mm. The collagen, uh, you stop making it. And that the collagen you have starts getting stretched out and this is why the, you get looseness in the skin. Uh, when you use a device like this that heats, the heating causes the collagen that's there to contract and to shorten. The little fibers actually shorten and shrink. And after that, um, you know, there's a healing process with the injury, the heat injury, mm. causes new collagen formation. So you're actually, you're shrinking the collagen that's there plus you're making additional collagen. That's interesting that you're just saying that, Dr. Barson. Take a look at these great animations of what it is actually doing underneath the skin. Focused ultrasound energy is delivered to heat the deep tissue. This non-invasive technique sparks a natural rejuvenating response. Over time, new collagen is formed which lifts and tightens the skin. Can the ultra laser lift be used instead of a traditional facelift? Yes, it can. If you, if you don't want as, as big an effect or you're afraid of surgery or something like that. But I must make the distinction that there's actually two parts to this procedure. Yes. One is the old therapy where we use the focused ultrasound under the skin yes. to tighten the dermis. And then the other is using the laser 
to treat the surface of the skin or the epidermis. So we're tightening at two different levels. This is why it's the most you can do. There's, there's treatments that below the skin or, or in the skin and there's treatments above the skin. But this is the only one that encompasses the entirety Internally of the skin. Internally and externally. Yes. It does it at the same time. Yes. We love that. Let's just take a look at Lucinda's before shots. We're looking at Lucinda. What in that image is the ultra laser lift actually going to correct? Well, what we're looking for is a, a lifting of the, the cheek, jowls, and neck, and some around the uh, eyebrows. Yes. And, uh, and also helping with the pigment, pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and uh, texture issues. When we come back, we will continue to talk to Dr. Barson specifically about this procedure. Well, it's giveaway time here on The Younger You. Enter for your chance to win $1,000 towards liposuction performed by Dr. Benjamin Dunkley. For more information, head over to theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest to enter. There are so many options out there for facelifts, but we're going to continue to hear all about a non-surgical option from Dr. Barson. And then we're going to meet our patient, Lucinda, and find out why she felt she needed this procedure. Since this procedure is not invasive, what's the downtime? The old therapy part has no downtime. Mm -hmm. The laser has usually five to seven days of downtime in that uh, you look like you've got a severe sunburn. Oh, I was going to say that. Inflammation and bruising, any? Generally not. Generally not. Is there anything that you can do to minimize in case you are a bit of a bruiser? Well, we have treatments that we do at the clinic with some devices that help with healing. Okay. But usually they're not necessary. Are the results the same as a traditional facelift? In one sense, yes. Uh, but they're just not as extensive. Okay. So I tell people that if, uh, if we do a facelift and that's 100% correction, Yes. The ultra laser lift maybe give you 30, 35% correction. When I hear you say those things, I, I think of it as someone from early 40s, late 30s, who want to touch it up a little bit, want to have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a lift without cutting the skin. This is the ideal procedure. Yes, but we also see people that have had a facelift and want a little tune-up without another surgery. Oh, okay. We've heard from Dr. Barson about how the non-surgical facelift works. Now let's head over to his office to perform the procedure on Lucinda. Today I'm having an ultra laser lift, just so my skin will look fresher and more lifted and maybe not so many wrinkles. Okay, so your skin is fantastic. You're at 91% for pigmentation on the surface of your skin, any visible pigmentation or so that's great, 100% is perfect. So that looks good. And then your UVA, you're at 244, which is fairly common. Anything that's dark is damaged skin. Um, UVA causes a lot of premature aging. Anything that's white is healthy. Here's your brown pigmentation. This is your UVB damage. Your UVB damage is much lower than most people that we see. You're at 171 there, so that looks good. And then you've got a little inflammation. So do you tend to be more rosy? Do you have a rosacea in your family? I do, and I've just noticed it in the last couple of years, the redness right here, like you can kind of just see it. Thought it would be something fun to try, or you know, just to, just to see what it's like and see the improvements, because I've had a couple things done and I was thrilled with what I've had done before. Wrinkles, 71%, so 21% better than the average person your age and skin type, but we'll be working on this today. Texture, 62%, so 12% better. 91% on pores, so your pores are fantastic. But yeah, this is a great place to start. I'm hoping to reduce the wrinkles around my eye and lift the eyelids a little bit because I have very droopy eyelids. And so just to help around the eyes and, you know, a little bit firmer look. So what would you, what are you looking to see the most improvement in? What do you want to work on today? I like my eyes, okay. around my eyes. Okay, we can do that. So we're going to start by doing your old therapy of your brows, crow's feet, and under eye. Okay. So 
Okay, if you want to come back with me, we'll get started. Okay. Uh, a few people have noticed that my, my eyelids are kind of droopy. So I wanted to do something about that. So we're treating your eyebrows, giving that lift and that arch to your eyebrow, your temples, and your under eye. Friends and family know I'm here. A few co-workers know I'm here and my family knows I'm here. They're excited to see the difference um, because I had a, a treatment previously and about a week later I had two co-workers say, I cannot believe how much, what have you done to your face? I was like, why? <laughs> and they said, because you're, you just, your, your face just looks so much younger. Non-surgical facelift is, is, to my knowledge, and, and from what I think I know is correct, um, uh, they do um, like a lot of natural medications and so forth, and they do, they, they'll, they'll pull back your hair and try to hold it tight and so forth. I've heard of it, but I'm not sure if it's like cosmetic or what exactly it is. Uh, it means they're not using a scalpel on you. They must just be like pushing and tying or something like that. I'm okay with it. I, I, I like plastic surgery, never had it done. I think it's wonderful and if I had plenty of money I would probably do it. I would definitely get my cheeks and, and actually, you know, probably my the, the, the turkey neck thing. It's not for me, but for those who who want it and need it, that'd be great. I think it's great. Coming up after the break, we'll continue to watch as Dr. Barson performs a non-surgical facelift procedure. You won't want to miss it. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates on the show and join the Younger You conversation. Have you ever considered having a facelift? Perhaps this is the procedure that you've been waiting for. Let's watch the rest of Lucinda's non-surgical facelift. I'm hoping to see my eyes lifted a little and less wrinkles around my eyes. here what we're doing right now is we're taking an ultrasound of her skin what this shows us is our target treatment point what we're trying to do is we're trying to pull somewhere between the bone which you see here you see the epidermis here the dermis is here this is the smas layer okay so this is between the muscle and that epidermis dermal layer so cool that we're able to target the area without having to create um, thermal heating from the surface of the skin. We're able to pulse here by creating two beams that cross at that point. Oh, I'd love to feel younger, <laughs> but I think I'm going to have to do some exercising more on that end. But yeah, if, if my face could look a little younger, that would be great. I don't want to look 20, but you know, yeah, just to look a little nicer, things just, just a little tighter on the face. I think that'd be great. We're treating on an area that a surgeon would operate on without having to make any incisions. We're treating right here on the brow to create a lift in the brow and create an arch here. One more. They're great. They're great to work with. You know, they're concerned. Does it hurt? Is there any pain? We don't want you to have pain during any of your procedures, you know. So everybody I've ever worked with is really great. I think they're really great. I think they know what I'm looking for. You know, I don't want to look 20, but just tighten things up a little bit. What we're doing on her today is called an ultra laser lift. And um, what that procedure does is it's, well, it's what it says it is. It's an ultra laser lift. It's um, patients who want to avoid a facelift, the downtime involved with the facelift, 
or want something that looks a little more natural than a traditional facelift might, then this is a good option for them. So this has become a treatment that's been widely used to create an arch in the eyebrow for patients. Um, we see it in all, all types of patients. Women, men who are looking for that arch or a lift, people who are trying to avoid a blepharoplasty. She wants to see a change in her, um, her eye area and a lift in her eye area and that's what we'll focus on today. She will see a change in everything, um, wrinkles, pigmentation, scarring if she had any. Um, but our focus here is to always give the patient what they want, you know? So what their goal is, our goal is. Is that okay? Yep. The combination of these two treatments is going to be killer. Not in a bad sense. There's a family wedding next summer, so um, we'll be doing a lot of family pictures and first time I think the whole family will have been together in many, many years, so it'll be fun to look great. After the break we'll be back into the studio with Dr. Barson and Lucinda. I want to see her final results and talk to her about whether she got what she was really looking for. Well, it's giveaway time here on The Younger You. Enter for your chance to win $1,000 towards liposuction performed by Dr. Benjamin Dunkley. For more information, head over to theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest to enter. Check out The Younger You website to watch full episodes of the show, read about our product of the week and get useful tips and tricks to help you achieve The Younger You. Was a non-surgical facelift the right choice for Lucinda? Let's see how she looks. Welcome back. Dr. Barson and I have been joined by Lucinda. How are you? I'm great. How are you feeling? I feel wonderful. You said you were nervous a little bit before. I'm fine. Are you nervous to show everyone how amazing you now look? No. Oh, yeah, you're not at all? <laughs> okay, well, let's have a look okay. at your before and after shot so everyone can see just exactly what you had done. So when you look at that, knowing you're 55, what do you think now? I think I don't look too bad. <laughs> you don't look too bad for 55. I think no, you look pretty good. I think I look pretty good. I think I look great. What made you have this procedure? Um, you know, as you get a little bit older, the skin starts to, the whole body just starts to go it south. It starts dropping. Yeah. Doesn't it? And I just thought it's time <laughs> to just lift it a little. <laughs> do you feel more confident now you've had it done? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Dr. Barson, is that the common feeling that women say to you after the procedures? I just feel so much better. You know, the commonest thing we hear is that they're, they just look tired. And afterwards, uh, they feel like they look refreshed, that they're, they're kind of new again. Hearing the results from Dr. Barson, that he's really happy about it, how do you feel? I'm happy about it too. Are you? Yeah, even co-workers can, will notice a difference. No, what yeah. do they say? They say, oh, your skin just looks tighter and you just, you look thinner through here. You look refreshed. Mm -hmm. You yeah, look more youthful. Yeah, I've had youthful. co-workers. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. How does that make you feel when you hear that? I feel 
I, I just Do you am feel excited, yeah. Alive, yeah. In, like invigorated. Yeah, it, it is. It's it just it's it, like a new lease on life almost. <laughs> Why this and not a traditional facelift for you? I just wasn't ready for that yet. You know, maybe sometime down the road, but yeah. I'm just not ready for that yet. At what stage would you recommend to someone like Lucinda to have a full facelift? When they want it. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I love that you said that because a lot of people, when I say this, Dr. Barson, would immediately say, you need that in five years, Lucinda. I like the fact that you can say when she wants it. That's right. I never, I never tell people what they should do. We give them information. We go through procedures. We expected results. And the patient always makes the decision. Mm. Lucinda, what were your expectations? I expected it to be more painful than it was. Really? Uh-huh. And it was not. What was the sensation? Describe it to the our viewers. Um, the old part was mm. hot, heat, okay. like heat. Okay. The the other part, the laser part of it, it was looked a little rough, but it didn't really hurt the procedure at all. Mm. I, I kind of expected it to hurt, but it didn't. The footage that we just saw was you sitting very comfortably, very relaxed. Was that the environment that was there for you, or was it just our perception? No, it was absolutely calming, relaxing. Stress-free. Stress-free. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dr. Barson, why? Why do you need that type of environment? Well, people have to be comfortable. Uh, and this has to do with the trust issue. Would you do anything else? Absolutely. Really? Oh, yeah. I would. Like what? Uh, <laughs> Are you saying you're uh, now obsessed? No, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> obsessed. I am not obsessed. But I would have, I would have other procedures done. Yeah. I would, yeah. Absolutely. Do you feel, as a woman... And I'm being, I want you to be really honest. Do you mm -hmm. feel as a woman there's a lot of pressure on you to look your best? Absolutely, there is, yeah. There really is. Yeah, you see the women on TV or, you know, in the public eye and they all look wonderful and their skin's tight and mm. great complexion and, you know, sometimes we just don't feel that way. Dr. Barson, what do you say to people when they come into you and they say, I want to look like that? Do you talk them through it? Do you make them understand that those pictures aren't actually the way those people look? Well, yeah, and some people come in and say, I want Angelina Jolie's lips. And I said, well, you have to have Angelina Jolie's lips then first. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to work with the bone structure and the, and the soft tissue structure that we have. Mm. Uh, you can't change it dramatically. What you can do is try to make that person look the very best that they can look mm. without changing their appearance. Uh, and we see a lot of people, that's, that's one of their big concerns, is they're going to look like somebody else. And we try to stress the fact that we don't do that. We, we want to make them just look like the best version of themselves. Well, I think the great word here is with all of this, and everyone watching at home, is realistic. I think women yeah. and men yeah. have to be realistic of their okay. options and the results. What do you say to those women out there wanting to take that on that you just did? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Be the best you can be. Inside and outside. Absolutely. And if it means having a little trip over to Dr. Barson, Abs do it. Yeah, do I it. I love that. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you're happy. I think your yeah. results are amazing. Thank I think you. you did a great job, Dr. Barson. Thank we you. appreciate Thank you. you showing everyone what you went through. Thanks for joining us. I hope you at home learned a little something about how to perk up your face without having any surgery. For more information about the show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week. Coming up next week on The Younger You, we're learning all about probiotics. Find out what they are and which ones you need to be taking. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.